the compact Saab 93, which debuted exactly 68 years ago, stood out externally from the conventional cars of its time and, most importantly, featured interesting technical solutions. The initial Saab car models were adorned with a unique emblem, a frontal view of a twin-engine airplane with rotating propellers. This choice stemmed from the fact that the Swedish company Saab, established in 1937, initially focused on aviation technology, the abbreviation in its name stood for Svenska Aeroplanab, in 1949. The production of the first Saab car, the Saab 92, commenced. It was a compact model with a two-door monocoque body. The body shape was streamlined for its time, albeit somewhat conservative, bearing traces of English influence. Under the hood, there was a front transverse two-stroke two-cylinder DKW engine with a displacement of 764 cc and 25 hp. Later, its power was increased by 3 hp. The suspension for all wheels was independent and spring-based. In 1952, a model with slightly improved aesthetics, the Saab 92B, was introduced. Instead of the previous unremarkable radiator grille with four horizontal bars, a small, refined vertical grille appeared, with moustache mouldings extending from its sides. All these distinctive features continued into the next model, the Saab 93, which debuted in 1955. However, this model marked a new significant stage in the brand's history. The engine, while still two-stroke, now had three cylinders instead of two, despite maintaining the same displacement, 748 cc, it produced noticeably more power, 33 hp. The car received a new three-speed gearbox and a new independent lever spring suspension for the wheels, with a curb weight of 780 kg, the maximum speed reached 120 km per hour. Fuel consumption ranged from 6 to 8 liters per 100 km. Three years later, panoramic front glass and enhanced brakes were introduced, and this model was designated as the Saab 93B. The export version of the car, named Saab GT750, became even more powerful. Its upgraded engine developed up to 55 HP, and the maximum speed increased from 125 to 145 km per hour. From 1955 to 1962, a total of 52,731 cars of the Saab 93 family in all versions were produced. In the 1950s and 1960s, the renowned racer Eric Colson achieved victories in several prestigious international competitions driving Saab cars. He notably secured first place in the Monte Carlo Rally in 1961 and 1962. Driving a Saab car with a modest 841cc engine but producing 70 hp. Interestingly, the athlete who brought fame to Saab was originally from Trollhorton, the city where the Saab company's automotive plant was located. 